Hello, this is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites, and today I'm going to show you how to use a built-in editor uh, in Shopify. And uh, what you can do is you can click onto a product, <clears throat> and you can go down uh, below product details and inventory variants, you'll see images. And then uh, right next to the alt text, you're going to see edit with aviary. So if you click on that, it brings up a built-in editor. So um, from that you can crop an item, you can resize it. Uh, if you want to crop an item, you can simply choose the size. I like to go to the original size, but if you happen to have enough space around it, you can create perfect squares so that all your items are the same size. Uh, but I think uh, using the original size, I like to use a much larger size. So if we just bring that down, make it a little tighter, that crops the item and once you crop it you're going to see that item come up in a full size. Uh, from here if you want to go in you can use this little tool right here called whiten and see how it just brightens it up and that just brightens up the picture uh, and that is shadowed a little bit. Now the best thing to do would be to shoot this uh, on in what's called an infinity wall. You take a white piece of cardboard and you bend it so that there is no line um, and it just bends right underneath it would the top of the uh, piece of cardboard would be here and you put it on the flat side and the bottom would just curve around and this would be sitting up right about here and you would see no lines uh, as you see right here uh, so using that and shooting it with uh, natural daylight is a good way uh, that you could just go into your brightness and brighten it and uh, when you brighten it, the, not just the bottom here, but the back here would uh, not have so much of a gray appearance. So let's go ahead, now that we've whitened it up just a little bit, and let's go ahead and apply. <clears throat> and now we're going to go into the brightness tool. And the brightness tool is really going to wash out all this gray and see how it makes it a lot closer to white. And we want to do it as much as we can without washing out the item. So it's done a pretty good job there, <clears throat> and that's all there is to it. It really makes this item look a lot nicer uh, without having to go into a photo editor. And if you wanted to put in a really custom size in here, you could go in and you could change uh, the dimensions right here. And uh, that's all there is to it. Now you know how to use aviary. You can do some other things. Uh, fixing blemishes, uh, change the saturation, and you can just play around with these tools, uh, add text to an item if you like, but that's really all there is to using the built-in uh, editor uh, called Aviary. And if you want to undo some steps, you can go down here and go back and undo what the previous thing that you just did to it. And none of these uh, will will save until you hit save. So, But once you've hit save, you can go in and you'll see this uh, on your page is going to be a much clearer, brighter picture uh, without so much shadowing. And it gives you more of a cutout on a white background without having to use a photo editor. Uh, thanks for tuning in to Pinehurst Websites and you can check out the rest of our tutorials at pinehurstwebsites.com and there's a link to pinehurstwebsites.com in the description uh, in the YouTube video below the video. Thank you.